Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Arnold Classic UK Open Division, but mainly about Samson Dauda. So we got a little physique update of him, we can see basically the conditioning of his legs right now, actually from yesterday, and today we got a new interview, the first interview with Samson Dauda since Arnold Classic Ohio, it's on Fu Arabia channel, AJ Kelly Roberts interviewed him, and he asked him some tough questions. So we got some interesting answers, let's go first, check that out, and then we're gonna talk about whether he can or cannot win the Arnold UK. Now, let's go to the interview, let's check some of these interesting questions or even more interesting answers. But honestly, there weren't that many questions about this whole drama, this whole situation with him and Milos, and I'm pretty sure it's because Samson didn't want to go too deep into it. The next answer you're gonna hear is answer to the question why Samson and Milos stopped working together, and AJ asked him, tell us what happened, but we're not gonna go into personal details. And Samson was like, yeah. We're not going into private detail, but what yeah. happened with you and Milos Sarsev that you guys ended ways? So right off the bat, to me it seems like there was something personal between these guys that Samson doesn't want to go into, so it's all very suspicious from the start, but let's hear what he has to say. We have to find another method and try something that will actually work for me. I don't need to put on size anymore. Milo's done that with me. In terms of bringing that fine my new detail in the last bit of the stage, you need somebody that's going to be more expert at having that. He's taught me how to put a size in year after year, how to grow very fast in a very short time. And I have nothing but thanks to give him for that. But now, in terms of bringing in that nailing Olympia winning conditioning, you need, you're need you going to need somebody else to input that, someone else to bring an eye to that. I think we both understood that it's time for, for that kind of change to happen and it wasn't an easy decision, honestly. It was a really, really difficult decision, but it was something that, you know, we both agreed that yeah, it needed to happen. All right, so, first of all, I gotta say, Samson is a couple of days out of a show. He's depleted right now, and we all know he's mentally burnt out. If you watch his YouTube videos and his stories, all he's thinking about right now is vacation. He can't wait for this to be over with. Yet he still found some time to do an interview to try and explain what happened in this situation. And this time around, he wasn't that irritable, he wasn't that angry and annoyed to be answering these questions. He was actually smiling, it almost seemed like he enjoyed doing this interview, so I give him props for that, you know, he, he, he really tried here. Now, as far as what he says about Milos, this totally makes sense. This should have been the thing that he said at the beginning, in a post without mentioning that his wife prepped him for those two shows, without discrediting Milos, and everything would be fine, there would be no drama, there would be one video on my channel about this, and that would be it, it would be finished like that, but it didn't happen quite like that, so it was fun with these videos here, but I think that's pretty much over, I think this is gonna be the last video about Samson, because here he pretty much explained everything. So basically what he says is he needs a different coach to get him to the next level of conditioning. He doesn't need any more size, Milos has done that for him, he's done a great job, he's thankful for that, but now he needs somebody else to get him to the final level. Now there is one thing about this that I didn't like at all. Let me play it again. In terms of bringing that fine menu detail in the last bit of the stage, you need somebody that's going to be more expert at having that. So he says he needs somebody else who is more of an expert in bringing the final detail on the stage. Now, yeah, sure, Miller didn't bring Samson shredded, but he didn't only do his off-seasons, guys. He also did his preps. Samson became what he became because of the way he looked on stage. Not only because he had successful off-seasons. I think Miller did what he thought was best. He tried to find a perfect balance. Because size matters in open shows, guys. Size matters a lot. And, you know, comparing Samson to Hadi, to Derek, like, those guys are much smaller in terms of being shorter and weighing less, but Derek and Hadi, Nick as well, those guys are freaking huge. Yeah, they're shorter, but they have a ton of muscle. They're definitely much bigger than everybody else today. Samson somehow managed to squeeze into that top four because of his size. So I think Milos could have probably pushed Samson more and gotten him shredded, but how much size would he lose? If he was, let's say, 15-20 pounds lighter and shredded like Hadi, what would he look like? He would look like, you know, kind of like Raphael Brandau. 
In 2022, Hari Chopin won the Mr. Olympia, and that was his worst conditioning ever. Hani Rambot knew what he was doing, he didn't make a mistake. He actually kept Hari big. I'm sure he could have been more aggressive with the prep, maybe started lowering the calories earlier, stuff like that. But then, would Hari win that Mr. Olympia? I don't know. Also, Derek, last year, he definitely could have been more shredded in the upper body, in the front part, especially, I mean, legs as well, quads, right? Like shoulders, chest and quads and abs. That whole area could have definitely been more shredded, but he would lose probably a lot of size, especially in his arms and his quads. Would it be worth it? I don't think so. I don't think he would have won. Even if he was more shredded, I don't think the sacrifice would be worth it. It's a little bit different with Samson because it's his glutes. And glutes are kind of like a trademark of conditioning. If you don't have shredded glutes, it means you're not conditioned enough. And Derek had peeled glutes. Somehow his body doesn't store fat in the glutes, which is very, very weird. But it does store fat and water in the quads and chest and shoulders and abs. Like, that's, that's definitely one in a million. Like, that doesn't happen very often. It's more common to be less conditioned uh, from behind, especially in the glutes and, like, lower back. That's usually how it is. But, you know, it wasn't the case with Derek and it is with Samson. So, I don't know what Milos's approach was in the prep, but I believe he tried to keep Samson as massive as possible. Yeah, I know, in the last part he was eating three eggs for breakfast, but for how long was he doing it? It's really not about what you do the last week or two, it's about what you do 20 weeks prior to a show. So I don't know if Samson needs a different coach, a better expert, to bring better conditioning for Samson. Maybe he hires Chris Asito and comes in 20 pounds lighter and, you know, has shredded glutes but looks smaller than Andrew Jack and places 8 at the Mr. Olympia. That's a possibility as well, guys. We don't know that yet, but let's say Samson does a very productive offseason now and then he actually has enough muscle to be able to sacrifice a lot of the fullness and in that case he can probably bring better conditioning and still have the size to go against the other big boys. Now, also, it could be like that, I don't know if it's real or it's a myth, but, you know, sometimes they say some people have, like, too thick of a skin, and it's kind of impossible to get really shredded, to get that uh, see-through look that Hadi has, for example. Maybe depends on the way your skin is, maybe Samson's skin is really thick, especially in that area, so it doesn't matter how lean he gets, maybe he's already lean enough, it's just his skin that is just too thick, and you just can't see the details of the muscle. That's also a possibility. We still have to wait and see if Samson is gonna eventually bring that next level conditioning. So if he doesn't, then it's not the problem with Milo Archer. It's the problem with Samson, his genetics. But Samson doesn't know that. He wants to try something different, and I support that fully. I have no issue with that. I just don't like the way he discredited Milos uh, by saying that his wife prepped him for Romania and Prague and brought better conditioning than Mr. Olympia, where he prepped with uh, Milos. Also, as far as Milos knows, he was the one prepping Samson. He spoke about that on different podcasts. So it's it's very nasty situation about that, but everything else, you know, I'm okay with. All right, now let's play the next question. This one is also very interesting. It's about when he decided to stop working with Milos. And that was after the Arnold Ohio, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was after the Arnold Ohio. So that means you did not choose this before the show or during the show. This was after... So as you can see, AJ was very respectful and very careful what he asked Samson. Again, he is not in the best place mentally right now, so he shouldn't push him, but I would ask some tougher questions. For example, this one, I would ask, why did he decide at that moment? Was he like, if we bring conditioning for Arnold Ohio, we're gonna continue working together, and if we don't, that's gonna be it? Did he think about that before? Or did he really decide after? Was it on the same day he posted the stories? Did it have anything to do with him uh, not feeling well that day and going to the hospital and regretting the decision he made between the prejudging and the finals? Whatever it was, is the reason for ending things with Milos somewhere there? That part is still unanswered. It's a little bit shady, but it is what it is. Now let's proceed to the next question, and this one I found very, very interesting. Marlena, your wife is styling you in for the Arnold Classic UK. Yep. You said that she peaked you for Romania and Prague. Yep. 
how did that come that she peaked you for those shows when you were with Milos at the time? Well, Milos was there hands on the ground. He did Olympia with me. When we came back home and we decided we're going to do Romania and Prague, Milos was still in the US. There's only so much you can pick up from, you know, videos. And Mel has been with me the whole time. I mean, Mel was the one who, she worked with me through my whole amateur. She turned me into a pro. And even now, when we work with other coaches, she's been there communicating with them. So when we were coming into a Romania show, it was like, okay, Mel has an idea for what she thinks we can do to be better for this one. Should we just give her a try? Let's see what she can do with it. And she stepped up and she did it Romania show. She had one idea. We did that. She did it again. So we kind of like, okay, that was a good idea and everything else. Okay, so that's how it came about. I mean, uh, Marlena or uh, Mel, she actually did compete. Uh, she was a competitor and she brought Samson into the sport, actually. And uh, she prepped him. He became a pro with her, which is amazing, which is awesome. Props to her for that. But the part that I didn't like too much is when Samson says she kind of worked. She was involved with all the coaches that Samson worked with. So when Milos was deciding what Samson was going to do, she was mixing her hands into that as well, which I don't think is a smart idea. I don't think that ever plays out well. And I'm actually surprised that Milos accepted this. Well, I guess he kind of didn't have a choice. He had an opportunity to actually win the Mr. Olympia with his guys, so he probably settled for some things he didn't necessarily like. But let's imagine Samson works with Hunter Rambo next. Do you think Hunter Rambo would be okay with this? I don't think so. I really doubt that. I mean, the guy has, I don't even know how many Mr. Olympia wins at this point, so he's the one who can set the terms for this collaboration, and I don't think Hani would be okay to work with Samson's wife. I don't think any coach would. I mean, there is talk that Samson might hire Patrick Tour. I don't think Patrick would be okay with that either, even though he didn't win a Mr. Olympia yet, and this would be a huge opportunity for him, I don't think Patrick would uh, settle for that. No coach would be happy with that. Some coaches would go with it, but some wouldn't, because it's definitely not ideal. And I think this is the main reason why this relationship ended. And also, I'm criticizing Samson for not making a post, but honestly, if Milos didn't make that post, I think Samson would maybe continue working with Milos after all this. Yeah, it is a messy situation, but it's not really beyond repair. But now, when it's all public, it's way more messy, so I think those guys are done. I think Milos just had it. He couldn't go along. I think Milos just had it, like, he was done. He couldn't continue doing it anymore this way. And I feel like this is the reason why this didn't work. And also, I'm pretty sure, if this wasn't the case, if Milos was the only guy making the decisions... I think Samson would do well. Now, I'm not saying that uh, his wife, Samson's wife, is a bad coach, but she's not Milo Archer. I mean, she's not top two, top three coaches in the world. Come on. I mean, this guy has been prepping top Olympians since the 2000s. Guys, what are we talking about here? I just don't get it. How does it make sense to interfere with one of the best coaches in the world? Even if she has ideas, as she says... She still should have just let Milos do his work and just support uh, Samson emotionally, mentally, whichever way, but just let the expert work. Let Milos do his thing, do what he's paid for, do what he does best. And I think if that was the case, they would have had more success. Maybe he would have won this Arnold Classic or placed higher than Mr. Olympia. I mean, we don't know that, we won't know that. The relationship is over. Now it's his wife prepping him for Arnold UK. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see what kind of conditioning Samson is gonna bring to the Arnold UK stage. But, honestly, I wouldn't have high hopes, even if he was prepped by Hein and Ram. But, I mean, two weeks is probably enough time for him at this stage to get even better. But, you know, considering his mental state right now, how burnt out he is, how sick of it all, he's... I don't think he's gonna really be in it with his heart. So, I don't expect a better version. Even if he looks worse... I don't think it's really that much about who is prepping him at this point. I think it's all about his mental state. And uh, in this video, his legs do look dry, but his legs are always dry. Overall, I think he's not gonna be at his 100% without Milos. But honestly, I don't think uh, this is gonna be a testament of how much Milos meant to him as a coach. I think it's all about where Samson's head is right now. And in his head, he's on a vacation. 
since a long time ago. So this guy is burnt out. He's gonna do this show. He's gonna look, I think, I'm guessing. We'll see, but I think he's gonna be like 90%, 80%. We'll see. And I don't think he can win if Hadi shows up. And I don't think he can place lower. I don't see Akeem Williams, John De La Rosa, or James Collins yet ever beating him, even if he was like at 70, 80%. Because you saw improvement in the Arnold Classic, like he was much better, especially in the back, I would say arms, shoulders as well, he is just so dominant right now, it doesn't really matter how detailed, how shredded he is, if you compare him to the second tier of bodybuilders, it doesn't matter if you compare him to Hardy, Derek or uh, Nick Walker, but as far as other guys, not really, not at this point. So that's my prediction for the Arnold UK and that's my take on this whole Samson and Milo situation. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, please stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.